everybody welcome to another video so i want to thank you guys for even clicking on a video it's much appreciated so thank you so as you guys can read in the title we are going to go to a five-star taco restaurant and it's a very unique restaurant so i know this is the only five-star restaurant on yelp that i could find in my area and it has 350 plus reviews so i want to say the reviews are legit so this video is going to be a little different from my worst and best reviewed restaurant because i will not be comparing it to the worst but i will do that in a future video today we're strictly focusing on just the five star restaurant and I cannot wait to show you where this restaurant is because it's kind of weird so with all that talking out of the way let's go ahead and pick up the food bring it home and try out this five star restaurant food oh say hi you're so cute and evil at the same time oh you're so cute too just make sure you bring back good food or else All right, everybody, so we made it to the restaurant, and as you guys could see through the drone shots, yes, we are at a gas station, and the restaurant name is Los Bocaros. Like I said earlier, a very unique place to have a restaurant. It's attached to a gas station, so I'm very interested to see what this is all about. So let's go order some food. A chunk of me. All right, we got our food in. First of all, I just want to say the service was excellent. Uh. The gentleman working behind the counter, I think his name was Alex. He was very helpful with the menu. So thank you, Alex, for that and the excellent customer service. But now we're on to the food. So I will see you guys at the food lab. Fine man, fall in love. I just fail to see the difference. All right, everybody, so we're back at the food lab and we have the food in front of us. So I will say on the drive home, it was kind of bumpy and I kind of ruined some of the items. The tacos look kind of sloppy, but I will say the appearance of the tacos was excellent. Also, the bowl kind of got ruined too. So uh, the bowl is right here. I'll go ahead and open it, but it, it, it's, it looks like a mess right here, but it's not about the looks of it, it's about the taste of it. Along with the tacos, the bowl looked very beautiful, but just my rough driving caused this. So we're not going to judge these one on appearance. I don't want to wait any longer. I just want to get right into it and I know what I'm going to get into and it's going to be these tostadas. So right here, this is a barbecue brisket tostada and this looks pretty amazing. I'll give you a close up shot and it's still pretty fresh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This tostada, oh my goodness. I don't know what they do. This thing is seasoned to death and it's so damn good. There is so much flavor in this. There was so much flavor in that brisket. That tostada was probably the best tostada I've ever tasted. And that gets a 10 out of 10. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and we're gonna go ahead and taste the tacos. So I have three different tacos. One of these tacos is a mahi mahi taco. One of them is a, a hongo taco, which is with mushrooms. And then I got a chicken taco. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the mahi mahi taco first. Here we go. There is the mahi mahi taco for you. It is fried. Mm. Okay. That is so succulent. The flavors in that fish. It's so juicy and flaky. I just don't want this to end. Oh my goodness. That was one of the best Mahi Mahi tacos I've ever had. I'm not even just exaggerating. I'm being 100 with you guys. That was one of the best Mahi Mahi tacos I've ever had. On to the next. Okay, so this is actually a steak taco. It's not a chicken taco. All right. And it is kind of falling apart, so I better... So for that steak taco, very, very flavorful. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. And on to the last taco, which is a mushroom taco, and I've never had a mushroom taco. This one is kind of falling apart too. I think I'm gonna have to use a spoon. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a big bite. And wow. Wow. 
What an incredible mushroom taco. For the first mushroom taco I've ever had, I feel like I can eat that on an everyday basis. I feel like everything here is gonna have tons of flavor. I don't know if you guys can see, but these chips are seasoned and the seasoning on these are amazing. I had a few on a drive home. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and we're gonna go with these things. I am not sure what these things are. Let me go ahead and check. Hongolitas. Hongolitas, I think that's how you pronounce it. But pretty much what this is, is toasted corn tortillas, hongos, Monterey Jack cheese, red pickled onions, smoky aioli, and crema. So it kind of reminds me of a tostada a little bit, except not. The hongolitas is an interesting item. Very different. I've never known mushrooms to be this delicious. Solid eight out of 10. Now we're gonna move on to the burrito. So for the burrito, I went ahead and picked up the spicy barracho burrito. Sorry if I am crucifying the name, but this is a spicy burrito, which I'm pretty happy about. It looks like it is grilled on top and the bottom. It's pretty weighty too. Honestly, it's comparable to a Chipotle burrito for size and it is very neatly wrapped. Sometimes you get those Chipotle burritos and they're just like breaking apart and stuff like that. So this one is held together pretty well. So let's go ahead and take a big bite of this. So I'm sorry, this is not a spicy borracho burrito. This is actually the chicken burrito, but it kind of spicy. So this burrito is not comparable to a Chipotle burrito. This in fact is a lot better. better. Far superior than the Chipotle burrito. The chicken they're using is flavored with some awesome sprinkles. It has a little spice to it and it's shredded chicken and the rice. The rice is fantastic. It's not covered or layered in sauce, which I usually don't like. This is almost like a perfect burrito. I'm gonna give this a solid nine out of 10. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bring the quesadilla. So for the quesadilla, I went with the carne asada quesadilla. And I forgot to mention that most of the food items that I picked were on a menu called Chef's Creations. I pretty much got the whole menu. The employee, Alex, helped me pick everything. So huge shout out to you. Appreciate it once again. Hmm, okay. Okay. This is not a carne asada. I keep messing up. This is a spicy citrus pork. It's spicy. Hmm. It has a zing to it. This has to be one of the best quesadillas I've ever had. I know you guys probably think I'm like, if you guys live in the Coconut Creek, Parkland, Boca Raton area, you need to try this place out. I promise you, you will not regret it. I'm so shocked that this place is inside of a gas station. They need to have taco trucks everywhere. They need to have restaurants. I will invest in this company. I am not even joking, guys. People need to try Los Pocados. I don't even know if I'm saying the name right, Los Pocados, but people need to try this. I'm on to the last meal. I saved uh, the uh, taco bowl before last. Wow, that looks disgusting. Sure, it's gonna be hella good. That's my fault for driving like a maniac. So um, everything so far has been a almost 10 out of 10. What was the best so far? <sighs> Honestly, the tostadas, that was so amazing. Kind of compete with Chipotle. <laughs> Dude, Chipotle is not even on the same level as this. Oh, really? Yeah, I actually already said that. Now we're on to the steak bowl. Now it has rice, cheese, steak, sauce on it. I know it may look like a mess, but let's see what kind of flavors this has. To offer, I'm not sure what they do to their rice. It has a green tint to it, but this rice is very, very good. Now, this is probably my least favorite item out of everything I just consumed. I'm just not into the heavy like dressings. That's just me. Maybe you guys are different. Oh. 
Okay, this bowl is done. Now I have these chips. And I've already mentioned how awesome these chips are. These are the best chips with the extra flavoring. Mm. It's like a punch in the face. All right, so it's time for a conclusion. All right, everybody, so it's time to conclude this video. It's been a few days since I've had Los Pocaros. I still don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Hopefully I am. And I'm sorry if I pissed you guys off by saying how awesome and flavorful this food was. Editing this video, it pissed me off. I apologize for that. But in conclusion of this video, I definitely understand why this restaurant got five stars on Yelp. On Google, it got 4.9 stars, and I think that is the highest rated Hispanic restaurant in the area. I myself am gonna go on to Yelp and give it a five star review first of all they have awesome customer service very friendly the place is actually very clean even though it's in the gas station the gas station is relatively clean as well the food is delicious i will say the food is kind of pricey for all the items that i did buy it cost me almost 80 dollars. but if you can get behind the price and if you're in the area i definitely recommend 10 out of 10 that you try the place and i just want to preface this this isn't a sponsored video or anything this is just my honest review of the restaurant huge thumbs up for me i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys want to see me do more videos like this or comparison best versus worst let me know in the comment section thank you guys for watching as always if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe please like the video and i'll see you in the next video peace